Hey, my name is Kenneth Eagle Kraut, and I'm about to solve problem number 24 of the Rhine Papyrus. But first, just some quick information about the Rhine Papyrus. Uh, it's one of the most prominent artifacts that we still have from the second intermediate period of Egypt. And it was most likely a mathematical textbook that was used by scribes in training just to perform math exercises. Um, but apart from that, uh, I want to move into how to actually solve the problem number 24 of the Rhine Papyrus because I really feel that it is a perfect example of false positioning found in ancient math. And problem number 24 states that a quantity plus one seventh of it becomes 19. Now, what is that quantity? But now, before we move on to how to actually solve this, one important thing to note about Egyptian math is that they would express quantities um, in unit fractions as opposed to just natural fractions. And so instead of 2 over 21, they would express it as 1 14th plus 1 over 42, just for instance. Um, and so this question, a quantity plus 1 7th of it becomes 19. What is the quantity? The, that can be expressed as x plus 1 over a times x equals b. And for this specific example, uh, we would write this in the form of x plus 1 7th x equals b. And then we want to solve for, actually, it does not equal b, it equals 19. 19 is our b. And so we want to solve 4x. And so ideally, we want to first make a guess that is our denominator. And so, for instance, we're going to choose x equal to 7 here. Now, with x equal to 7, our next step is we want to plug in our for our x and then solve for b. And when we do this, we get 7 plus 1 over 7 times 7, which equals 8, which is not, clearly does not equal 19. And now, what we want to do from here is we want to divide our original b, 19, by this b that we just calculated through our guess, which is 8. And so we would take 19 divided by 8, and that'll give us 2 plus 3 eighths, which when converted into unit fractions equals 2 plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth. And now, we want to take this quantity here, we want to multiply it by our original guess of 7. And when we do that, we're going to get 7 times, so 2 plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth, coming from the previous step. And that is going to give us 14 plus 7 fourths plus 7 eighths. And now, when we convert that into unit fractions, we get 16 plus 1 half plus 1 Eighth, which is going to be our final solution for this problem. And that's actually going to be the solution that Egyptians would have came up with naturally using Egyptian division techniques as opposed to the modern division techniques that I utilized. So just to go over these steps again to solve for a quantity plus its one-seventh of it becomes 19 was the quantity. First step is we want to put that question in the form of x plus 1 over a x equals b. For us it was x plus 1 seventh x equals 19. And then we want to make a guess, which is ideally our denominator a, and so in our case we guess 7. And then we plug in 4x and then we solve for b, which gives us our clearly false answer of 8. And then once we get that answer, we want to divide our original b by the b that we just calculated. So we're going to take 19 divided by 8 and take that product, I mean, we want to take that quotient and then multiply it by 7, which is our original guess, in order to give us the final product, which is x, which in our case is 16 plus 1 half plus 1 eighth. Yeah, and that is how you solve problem number 24 of the Rhine, also known as the Ames Papyrus.